Thank you guys for joining me. Today we're going to do clay cats. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what are animals saying with their body language. So if you guys have a dog, for example, if a dog is wagging his tail, he's usually pretty happy, right? But if a dog tucks his tail under the back, he's usually pretty scared. And if he's on alert, he's going to have it up. Um, so he's checking things out. So all animals have different ways of communicating. The cats, um, they tell you if they're purring, like this cat's purring, and he's very relaxed and very curious of what I have. Now, if a cat, if you approach a cat and he puts his ears back, that usually means he's scared or he's angry or both. So you want to be careful. You want to leave an animal alone that, that um, has their ears back. And that seems to be for most animals. If their ears are back, that's not a good sign. You can also tell just by their body language and their hair. So if their hair stands up, they're scared and mad. Um, same thing with the dog. If a cat or dog, their hair stands up on end, that means they are scared or they're angry. They think there might be trouble. Okay, so cats and dogs both, they kind of like it if you don't pay attention to them at first. You know, you can know that they're there, but you want to let them approach you first. So um, that happened today. I walked in, but I had this bag of stuff and the cat started climbing on me and sniffing me. Um, a lot of times it's intimidating if we come towards an animal um, and we're bigger than them. They may, they may scooch back and put their ears down like, I'm scared, I don't know what you're doing. So the first thing you're gonna need for this is clay. Or if you don't have clay, um, you can always mix it up with salt and flour. Let me see here. Let's go ahead. And I ended up with a few. I have green and I have blue. Take your um, clay. And I want you to start by warming it up. We need to warm it up really good. Parents, if you're there, I tell you, you should probably join in because pressing clay is very therapeutic and very relaxing and warming it up. It's like those little stress balls they used to sell. So take it and warm it up. And I guess we need, let's go ahead and do the cat head, okay? Um, first, so I'm gonna use this for the cat head and I'm gonna rip a little bit off so that we can use that for the ears. And I guess you can decide, do we want to do an angry cat or do we want to do a happy, a happy cat? And I think I'm gonna do a happy cat. Well, let's go ahead and do a scared cat. We'll do a scared cat. Sometimes, especially at Best Friends, because we get so many animals here who maybe didn't have a home or we're living on the streets or um, came to us hi, with an injury or a disability. So they're a little bit scared. Um, think about you when you go to somebody's house, a new friend, it's always a little scary at first, but then after you've hung out with your friend like 10 times, you feel like you live there and you can open up the refrigerator door and get yourself a treat. But right now, a lot of these cats are kind of new and they can be very scared, especially if people come in to volunteer and, and the cats don't know you. So we'll go ahead and do a scared cat. So I would take, take two pieces and make little triangles out of them and then pinch their face just like that. And it actually ends up making, and then if you push the forehead, it brings the, the face out. I don't know if you can see that against this background. See that? Kind of looks like a cat face. If you have a pencil, um, go ahead and grab that. Luckily, I have some colored pencils here. 
right here. So if you have a colored pencil, I'm gonna bring you guys a tiny bit closer. Right here, go ahead and poke an eye and an eye. So there we go. See from the side, it looks like a pretty good cat. Now if the cat's scared though, we're gonna push his ears back. There we go, because he's gonna be nervous. So let's go ahead and do the body of a scared cat. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this little guy right here is, you're, you're um, purring. It's so funny how that little white one, you see her over here? Yeah, Twix, you're so beautiful. Twix was up here on me. And then we have another black cat up there. They all seem to be really furry in this, in this cat house. So I just built a little bit of a body because the cat's gonna be like crouched. And what kind of tail would your, would your cat have if it was, if it was scared? Would it be fluffy and wagging? Probably not. It would probably be down and maybe even curled under. So we'll go ahead and curl it under, okay? So there's a quick, really quick little class there on um, a cat, a scared cat. The nice thing is we can make it a happy cat by putting its ears up and putting its tail up and fluffy. We'll do it sideways so it looks like it's relaxing. He kind of looks like a rhinoceros. But that is, that is our clay animal for the heart, um, for the heart body language, learning body language, dogs, cats, all sorts of animals. There you go. Thank you guys for joining us.